Hello Chibitronics fans! Today we're going to be making a card featuring our craft effects and stencil. And of course you can either use our conductive fabric tape or our wonderful copper tape. Let's get started. I have already begun our card by creating a scene. This scene features the sweet November stamps. Drop it like it's cold. <laughs> And everything is colored and ready to go. I have a small three eighths of an inch ready to go fold. And I've also stamped the same image in the same position on the inside. And this just will help position where our lights are going to go. On today's card, we are going to be using the heartbeat sticker from the craft effects and this stencil is definitely something that you need plus you also get to play with some effects on some of your cards so we're going to use this to plan out where we want each of our light stickers to be located so i want my little snowmen and critters to look like they have a heartbeat so i'm just going to plan where all of my little lights are going to go. So I'm just going to do that quickly with just an X. And then I'm going to take our stencil and quickly add in all of those sticker shapes. Next, we want to plan for our craft effects sticker. And I always pull out my little cheat sheet. And this just shows me that on these stickers, the positive goes in one corner and out the point of the triangle. So we need to make sure that we have room for our sticker. So we're going to plot that into our circuit. And it needs to be attached to our battery. I use my trusty dusty little stencil here and we are going to create a circuit button to complete our circuit over the word blizzard on the front of our card which is also indicated on the inside of our card now we need to do our tape lines so today I started off with my negative line I want to make sure it goes underneath my battery to the left corner of my triangle for my craft effects sticker and then I connect all the points if you can't remember what end of your sticker is positive and which end or uh, which side is negative everything is clearly labeled on the stickers and easy to read so let's do our positive side I have connected the top of my battery indicated by the dotted lines to my craft effects sticker and all of the positive sides of my light sticker and I just use my stencil as my straight edge it works perfectly let's go and apply our copper tape I always begin my circuit by running my negative line of conductive material first because it sits underneath that battery so I run my tape before I have to create my battery housing and then it's just as easy as one two three and bending your copper tape or your fabric tape back on itself you can use either conductive material and you just want to follow those lines it's as simple as that the beauty of the chibitronics products is that you can add as many lights and stickers as you want so to build our battery housing i always take my battery because it makes for a great placeholder <laughs> and it allows you to cut things uh, nice and even we need to create a little box and all this is is just to contain that battery so the battery doesn't move while people are shaking the card or moving it around and it just has a nice little home so i'm just using some 3d foam and we're going to create a barrier just to hold that little battery in place. Now 
so you guys can see through this I have I'm using a piece of acetate for the flap to create that finished positive side of the circuit I always start on the underside of the flap and you can use any material you want and you're going to wrap that copper tape over top of Oop. <laughs> wrap that copper tape over top of that piece of substrate that you're using because you want the underside to have copper tape so it actually touches that battery once you depress it and the pressure is there then that copper tape then touches and completes the circuit so I'm just going to take a little piece of adhesive tape on the top and this is going to create and hold that piece of plastic in place here like such and then we're going to use our bone folder and carefully go down the side of our three-dimensional foam tape and this tool just helps you press and make that connection smooth and no one's going to see your circuit and let you, unless you want them to. And I quite often leave my circuits accessible because I want people to see what fun is underlying their card creation. So I'm going to finish off the positive side and I'm just going to run all my lines and then we'll be ready for stickers. And now it's time for stickers. So let's start with our craft effects sticker. Each one of these four stickers is clearly labeled Twinkle, Heartbeat, Blink, and Fade. And they're easy as a peel and stick. Contact is made underneath the sticker, so you do not have to put copper tape or our fabric tape over top of those joints. That circuit is completed by the contact underneath. It's one step you don't have to take. Now let's add our light stickers. These again are also indicated for color. P is for pink because we're going to do all pink lights under our snowmen and critters. Just want to make sure that you put on your lights in the proper orientation. And again, it's as easy as peel and stick. I also highly recommend give them great contact with a little pressure from your bone folder. So the next thing to do is to check and see if your circuit works. And there we go. Our heartbeat function is working beautifully. Let's finish up the card. To finish off of my card, all I did was make sure that my foam tape was wrapped around the edge and fold it over my panel and for design purposes uh, mine has magnets to hold the card closed but here's how it works now let's turn off the lights there we go we have snowmen and critters with cute little heartbeats Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope I inspired you to make a circuit of your very own. Check out all the product details in the description box below, and we'll see you again soon.